Okay, AP calculus, trapezoidal approximation number 15. This one's of a trig function. I'm going to say it again, that we need to memorize this, that we're told that we can approximate a definite integral of f of x dx from a to b by saying that the approximation will be b minus a over 2n times f of x sub 0 plus 2 f of x sub 1 dot 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 2 f of x sub n minus 1 plus f of x sub n. This is what I want to make sure that we're seeing here is that there's this pattern. The first term has a coefficient of 1. The last term has a coefficient of 1. And all of the terms in between have a coefficient of 2 have a coefficient of 2. So this should not be too bad. So what we have here is this. We have the definite integral of sine x squared dx from 0 to pi square root pi halves, where n is equal to 4. And all I'm going to do here is fill in the blanks. The other thing I'm going to remember, remind you is this, that this says sine of x squared, not sine squared x. They are two totally different things. So please beware about, of that on the exam. All right? So first thing I'm going to do is this b minus a over 2n. So b minus a over 2n thing. Uh, so it gives me the square root of pi halves minus 0 over 2. It says n is 4. Right, so that gives us that. So that gives us square root of pi halves over eight. Remember, the pi halves is under the radical, so there's nothing we can do with that. So that gives us that value. So I'm just going to start to set this thing up. I'm going to say, okay, my approximation, because this is what they want on the exam. They want to see you set this up correctly. So I'm going to say square root pi halves over eight times now right we, we're starting at zero so in this case our first interval does start at zero so it's sine zero squared that's this right then plus this two you guys is this two now one thing we do have to figure out just takes a second is what's our change of x that is we we're going to get exactly four intervals but the interval goes over over this. So I'm going to say, well, what is the square root of pi halves over 4? And as stupid as it sounds, that's exactly what it is. So 2 times this 2, again, is this one. Our function was sine of that thing squared. And the first one's going to be square root pi halves over 4. That looks terrible. I'm sorry. This, these things go all the way around this like that. Wow, that's really bad. I can hear you, right? Plus, so each time, so we went from 0 to square root pi over 2 over 4. So now we're going to go plus 2 sine of, right? We're going to go from here. We're going to go this distance again. So we'll have 2 square roots of pi halves over 4. I know. I can hear you, Angela. It can be simplified. I just want to show you where I got it. And I'm going to keep adding a quarter. So the next one, remember, we're going to go all the way to this value. So we're not there yet. So it's going to be 2 sine of 3 square root pi halves over 4. Right? I know this is a pain, but plus... It's not going to be 2. How do I know that? Because it's, it says the first one and the last one will have a coefficient of 1. And I'm going to take sine of 4 square roots of pi halves over 4 whole thing squared, right? And we're going to add all of those together. So, again, I, I can see that this 4 and this 4 cancel each other. I just want to show you how I got there, that this was 2 fourths. So, look, 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 4 equal intervals. Okay, so that's what we got. So you're probably saying, oh, my God, what am I supposed to do with all that crap? On the exam, what they really want you to do is they really want you to set it up. They want to see what that looks like. They want to see you set up the trapezoidal rule. 
your calculator can't set it up for you, but if you needed to, you could use your calculator here to come up with a value. The most important thing, let me say it clearly, the most important thing is that you set this thing up correctly. And you see where I just started to screw up right here, Mags, but I'm not going to. I'm going to fix it. It is an approximation, and its approximation is 0 0.550, right? So hopefully we have this. I don't think it's very, very tough. Just have to remember what the trapezoidal rule looks like. Remember that it's an approximation, and remember that the pattern is 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, ending with 1 as coefficient values, right? Also remembering that you have to figure out, they're going to give you this n value, and you're going to take whatever your upper limit, is, whatever your upper limit minus your lower limit is, and divide it by that, and that's each of your intervals, and just keep adding the same amount over and over, all right? So I hope this is really helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.